Welcome back. Let's return now to the top story we've been tracking for you here on ENCA. And the governing body of Liar School, Schweizer Renneke, insists there's no racism at the school. This after a photo showing white and black pupils sitting separately went viral. ENCA's Govan Whittles joins us now from the northwest town for the latest. And Govan, we've had protests, uh, we've, had inter we've had interventions from the provincial authorities, but uh, in the last one, We've also heard from the uh, school governing body. Yeah, that's right, uh, Tulasis. As you say, they're insisting that there was no racism involved in the separation of white and black pupils, but they're not able to provide a, a reasonable or logical explanation as to why these pupils were separated. We did speak to the school governing body a little bit earlier, and they were basically they were basically saying that the, the, the teacher had decided to separate the children because the class had been unsettled. Uh, as for her rationale and her reason for separating, separating them according to their race groups, well, the school governing body says they don't know, and they hope that the investigation, which has now been initiated by the Northwest Department of Education, would shed, would shed some more light on that. But they're insisting that over the last five years they haven't had any incidents of racism at the school. That's in shock contrast to what we heard from the community which had been protesting here earlier and also from the MEC who, who says he suspects that there may be a culture of institutionalized racism here at this primary school. So as we speak at this moment, Govan, one of the major developments in this story is the suspension of the teacher. What else has the Department of Education been saying about this and the investigation that they will be carrying it out? They'll be carrying out. They haven't given much detail on the investigation, only saying that it would be broad and look into several complaints of alleged racism which emanated from that community meeting with the MEC, Selo Lehari. But as you said, um, Ilana Barkhazen, the grade R uh, teacher, was suspended this morning with immediate effect by the HOD of the department alongside the, the MEC, and that's for uh, the decision that she took to separate those children. But this investigation would not only look um, at the primary school here in Schweizer it would also look at the high school. Uh, after that photo went viral yesterday showing the, the children separated, uh, a lot more information came to light about alleged incidents of racism in the small town. And because of that, the MEC is initiating a much broader investigation, which will not only look into what happened in that classroom, but also look at the, the complaints from some of the parents uh, of color about the school, um, but also look at some of the complaints from the, pa the parents of the white pupils who the MEC met separately from the protesters. So he says that um, since he arrived here this morning, uh, there's been a lot of new information that's come to light, but he seems convinced, as do the rest of the community, that this is a case of blatant racism. So what's been happening with operations at the school? Um, there have been you know, various reports about how all of this activity and uh, the controversy around the school has actually affected uh, the pupils there. This morning, we saw parents of the white pupils, some of the parents, coming to the school, rushing onto the school grounds as soon as the protest started and taking the children out of class. They were, um, they were hurried across the rugby field and uh, through one of the gates, uh, uh, one of the uh, broken pieces of the fence uh, to their parents and, and because of that, classes stopped immediately. After that, uh, we heard the first bell for break time um, and when we spoke to the school governing body, they said that not all of the pupils had left. Uh, some grade threes and grade uh, uh, sevens and grade fives had remained. Um, but the MEC also arrived here to reassure the parents that there's no need to take the children out of the school. The school governing body is saying that even though classes were disrupted today due to the protests, they will continue with classes tomorrow. And they're expecting a smooth transition. Uh, the school governing body saying that after the MEC's visit, they don't expect any further uh, disruptions at the school. And because of this, they're urging parents to come to school tomorrow with their children and see for themselves that everything has been, rest uh, peace has been restored in the classrooms. And invariably, Govan, uh, incidents like these are at times interpreted through the political lens. What are the political parties? What have they been saying? 
Well, the political parties obviously bemoaning what is happening here. The ANC and the EFF uh, have different experiences here because they have also laid several charges um, against people in Schweizerenica for alleged racist incidents before this even happened. So this morning we saw a lot of those same activists coming to the school saying that what has happened reinforces their claim uh, that Schweizerenica has serious issues with racism and they're here to make their voices loud once again and say um, that uh, the racist teacher, as they put it, should be fired and they're also calling for the principal to be sacked. The DA, on the other hand, has uh, advised the two parties, the ANC and the EFF, to be cautious. The DA is saying that 2019 is, is an election year and we should look at what they're doing through that lens. Um, the DA is saying that they welcome the investigation and they take note of the suspension um, but they know that political parties are trying to hijack this to score some political points. So the DA not convinced that uh, this is a case of racism yet um, but they say they'll also be cooperating uh, if an investigation, when the investigation uh, reaches them. Just a final one. I don't know if you saw um, uh, earlier on in the day and, and, and perhaps late yesterday, uh, Govan, a, a kind of explanation that sought to say part of the reason why the pupils were seated the way they were seated at those two desks in that classroom was because they were doing some activities and they were being rotated. Um, that, 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 of course, differs from what the school is saying, that it was merely about the teacher trying to uh, get the pupils to settle down and, and trying to group them according to their language, uh, the, language that, the language that they speak at home, etc. Um, is the school advancing the earlier theory at all, or is the issue around uh, trying to get the, the kids to settle down the official explanation now? Yeah, the, the claim that uh, the children had been moved around in different groups has really been rubbished by the school governing body. Um, in fact, the school governing body is saying that in this instance, everything that happened uh, was done at the discretion of the teacher. They're saying that the teacher's only explanation to them was that the class was unsettled because these were grade R learners which had never been to school before or had been in, who, had, who had never been in this environment before. And because of that, they had become unsettled. And then the teacher took the decision on her own to separate the children um, according to their race groups. As to why she did that, that's not clear at the moment. The school governing body is saying they'll wait for the investigation um, to be wrapped up before that is determined. Um, but they're also careful not to say that it, they were separated on the basis of language. It seems the teacher didn't give that explanation to the school governing body. And that was part of the speculation, as was the, the, the theory that they had been moved around in different groups. The official version is that the teacher took this decision uh, on her own accord. And it seems the school governing body will let the department deal with her the way they see fit. Right. Thank you so much for that update. Live for us uh, in Schweizer Renneke, it's uh, uh, ENCA's Govan Whittles tracking that story for us.